Hi, welcome to our tutorial on how to translate Elementor websites fast and easy. There's a lot you can do with Elementor's visual interface, but translating your page into multiple languages is not on the list. So let me show you how to make Elementor multilingual using a plugin that is equally as easy to use. Translate Press is a free WordPress plugin that lets you translate all of your Elementor content using a simple visual translation interface. So let's get going. Once you've created your Elementor content in your site's native language, you're ready to install Translate Press. Do this by going to Plugins, Add New, and type Translate Press into the search bar. Install and activate your plugin. Next, go to Settings, Translate Press, and choose your default language, that's the language that your Elementor content currently exists in, and then add the language you're going to translate your website into. With the free version of Translate Press, you can translate your Elementor content into one new language, while the premium version lets you use unlimited languages. In this settings area, you can also configure a few other important settings, like adding and customizing a front-end language switcher. If you want to save time and ensure comprehensive translations, Translate Press lets you connect to Google Translate or DeepL to use automatic machine translation on your website's content. But this is 100% optional, you can always do it manually from scratch. At this point, you're ready to start translating your Elementor content, or editing your machine translations if you opted for automatic translation. To access the Translate Press Visual Translation Editor, open the Elementor design that you want to translate on the front end of your site. Then click on the Translate Page button in the WordPress admin bar. In the Visual Translation Editor, you should see a live preview of your Elementor content on the right and the translation sidebar on the left. To translate a piece of Elementor content, hover over it on the live preview and click the blue pencil icon. This will open the translation fields in the sidebar where you can make your edits. Input the translation to your desired language right here. You can go on and do the same for your entire website content, even images, URLs, and widgets. Just click the pencil button and input your translation every time. You can even translate templates created with Elementor Team Builder or Pop-Up Builder. Once you've translated the header once, Translate Press will automatically apply those changes to all the pages where the header is active. If you're using Elementor Pro to create pop-ups, you can also use Translate Press for those. To access a pop-up's translations, open the editor for the pop-up template. Then click the Preview Changes button and on the front-end live preview, click the Translate Page button. Here you can translate your pop-up just like you would any other Elementor piece of content. Now, let's play with some more options. Let's say you need to restrict a widget or a section to a certain language. If you click on that specific section and go to the Advanced tab, you'll see the Restrict by Language option. Set the option to Yes and select the language in which you'd like to show the selected element. The element will now display only in the selected language. If you'd like to display a widget or section in all languages except for some, you can use the Exclude from Language option right below. Now you can display an element in all languages except the ones that you selected. Easy, isn't it? For more information, check out the Translate Press documentation linked in the description or take a look at some of the other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching!